Hey guys, I was casting my mind back to myself um, at the very beginning of last year when I was trying to decide which machine to get and wanted more information on the Pippa. I wanted to know what I was looking for in YouTube videos around the time that I started this YouTube channel and it was this, which is what to buy when you've got your Pippa or what kind of the essentials are because it certainly, as quite a few people have commented and reflected, an expensive spiral um, where you always want more. So I'm kind of going through the items that we already have. So the things that you get automatically in your box from Quick Mill. So you've got this absolutely pathetic tamp that doesn't really work. You've got the spoon for the beans, which works. It definitely does the job. I still use it. You've got this stock standard double spouted porta filter, which I certainly used for surely it was at least a couple of months before I got the bottomless porta filter. You get the two baskets and this blank basket. Uh, blind filter, sorry, filter basket, which is for cleaning. So you can back flush the machine. So here is the single, I think it's about 15 to 16 gram um, basket, shop basket that comes with the machine and the sand and porta filter. And here's the double slash triple. So that's the one that I fit about 23 grams in on average um, to pull a shot. So it's nice and big, not too big. I think it's a perfect size. I did also get this other basket, which came with that portafilter, the ECM portafilter handle, the bottomless one. Um, but it's not one that I use routinely. So that's kind of the main kit of things that you need, obviously, to brew espresso. Like you need your portafilter handle, you need your baskets, you need the blind basket for cleaning. So this is absolutely imperative. And what are you going to clean it with? Well, this is what I'm using. So this is the Cafetto Espresso Clean uh, Machine cleaning powder. So you basically put one scoop in to the blind basket and one scoop goes a long way. This this container just goes and goes and goes. Um, there's so much in here. Basically, it's in one of the comprehensive cleaning videos. You pop it in and you switch the brew switch on multiple times until it completely cleans out the machine. And then this is the stainless steel finish spray, which I got with my Breville machine years and years and years ago. Um, and it seems to work with the Pippa. So I've just been using that and this microfiber towel. Just make sure that obviously it's clean. Sometimes if you use too much product, it does build up and I'll use a bit of a damped cloth to wipe off the product. Because like I've said in other videos, it is completely unforgiving, this machine, the mirror mirror finish. If you have the black one, I think your drip tray is still stainless steel though. So you'll still need something to clean it with. So that'll work. You also obviously need a, well, we call it a bang bang here a lot of the time, but a knock box, um, anything like that, that's basically just designed so that you can knock out the grind once you have pulled your espresso. You can also make your own as long as it's kind of padded. Um, something you can knock it into. People use PVC piping, that works. Forgot to mention this little cleaning brush for um, the group head also came with the machine. So that's kind of the cleaning stuff. I also have the BFT, the water pouches that I talk about in other, other videos, but I actually don't have one to show you in this video. I don't have one in stock in the cupboard. So then on two scales, everyone's favorite discussion point, do you buy the $300 scales, the $200 scales, or these are like $10, $11 off Amazon. So the smaller silver one was the first one that I started with. It worked great. Um, I think I spilt a lot of liquid on one once when I was playing around with the bottomless porter filter. And so I got the second one which is the one I'm currently using. I've also totally flooded that. They're kind of indestructible. The first one just needed a little bit of time on the back burner and it's it's re ready to go again. And then I have got this Rhino Wear glass cup that I started using that has ounces and milliliters on it. And then I have more recently purchased this just double spouted glass cup because I don't really use the mill measurement. I use the weight measurement on the scale. They both fit with the glasses underneath the bottomless porta filter on the machine. So that's not an issue. I know that's something people have discussed before about getting the right type of scale and you need the high end ones to fit. You don't. Well, at least that's my experience. Then I have the milk jug. So this one is a 300 mil jug. So a smaller jug. I, this is the perfect size. I actually wish I had bought two of these 
um, when you're making for different milks, you just need multiple jugs that are smaller. This is a 410 mil is the top line. It's like a 600 mil jug or it might even be 700, 800 mil jug. Quite a big jug. That's great if you're making two or more coffees with the hot milk off the same type of milk. I mean, it's got the steam power, this machine, you can absolutely do it. Uh, but for me, I don't get to use that very often unless I have guests. And then the beautiful airscape canister. You want to keep your beans fresh. You don't want them to sit in kind of the original packaging and get a bit um, stale. This is great. It's like a double locking airlock system. I've got a video on it. I'm not, none of this is sponsored by the way. I wish it was. Um, I'd love to get some free stuff, but um, this container, I think it was about 60 Australian dollars or 50 Australian dollars. It has been great. It fits like far, probably 600, 700 grams of beans in there. Then onto the kind of tamper station. So this is a distributor tool. It's like a double-ended distributor tool and a tamper. Now I use this every single time. Um, what I will say though, is that get, if you are going to get one, get the 58.5 mil. So uh, you can see that puck screen, which I'll talk on later is a slightly bigger because it's got the 0.5 edition. And I wish I did that because it wouldn't have left so much grind around the edge of the basket. Now I use both types of tampers here because you'll see the second one has the propensity to wobble side and side. So you're not going to get an even um, top layer. Whereas because of the black sides on the distributor tamper, you can make it level. You can make it sit flush with the top of the filter basket. Here I'm just quickly showing you the dosing funnel and the dosing cup. Um, I use both of them every day and I think I show you a bit more on that a little bit later. Over to the bottomless porta filter. This is the one everyone loves. I mean I loved it too. I was so excited to get this. It took me a while to find or make sure that the one that I was going to buy would fit because it is a standard E61 group head, which does give you the flexibility to go across the other E61 group head um, porta filters. So this is the ECM one. I touch on that in another video and I've just popped the quick mill double basket in there. Um, a quick pro tip. It took me so long to figure this out. You can just use the underside of the other filter baskets to flip out and change them over. It works every time. I was using like a butter knife before and this is so much easier. It works so quickly. So this bottomless porter filter fits both the single and the double. And then I'll show you, this is the dosing funnel. Now I'm demonstrating here. I wish I got a magnetized one, one that would does that actually work with the type of basket? I'm not sure, but one that would stick on because it does have the propensity to wobble. But you can see the dosing cup can pour straight in there and then I'll often pour straight into the filter basket and then pop the dosing funnel on top just to keep everything in while I'm doing the WDT. Here is the puck screen in the size 58.5 mil. This is just from Normcore. It was like 30 bucks Australian or something off Amazon. Uh, it works well. It keeps your group head cleaner. It also adds some pressure as well if you want to help with getting the right extraction profile for your espresso shot. So I do use that ring, uh, sorry, the puck screen sometimes and I don't use it all of the time, um, but I love having it. And this is just a tamper mat. You don't have to get this. It's going to protect your benches if you've got good bench tops. I don't. This is very old, this bench top. Um, but I do use this every day. So it's just, obviously, it's also not as loud. Um, it shows you a little bit about how you can place the portafilter onto that. And then, of course, the WDT. This one was my $20 or $30 one that I just got off Amazon. You can get way more expensive ones if you want. Um, and I'll probably upgrade at some point, but this still does the job. So it's got these really fine, uh, ac I think they're acupuncture needles or dry needling needles in the top. And you basically, you'll see in other videos, you use it to evenly distribute out the grind and reduce the chance of tunneling. Oh, sorry, channeling. Hey, here is our favorite Allen key. This is actually, I'm demonstrating the wrong size. I couldn't remember which one was the one I need. Um, the small one is the one that fits. And I talk about that in the video, the comprehensive cleaning video, I think, when I talk a little bit about how to remove the shower screen and give that a proper clean. But absolutely essential to get it and get the right one. I got the wrong one because I think I kept buying Imperial, but this is an Italian machine, so it was in metric or might have been vice versa, but it's in the cleaning video. 
And then last but not least, uh, the item I forgot to get out that is so crucial to this beautiful machine and what you can do, and that is a flathead screwdriver just so that you can get in and adjust the um, the pressure gauge that sits uh, just up under to the right of the group head. So just where I'm indicating there. And they are the main items that you need. Um, let me know if there's other things you purchased.